and you are being the same as your own being, such as being open and soft in your heart and being that openness and softness in the midst of yourself, that makes yourself vulnerable, which introduces pain. The vulnerability is your own direct experience that yourself is not like you. Yourself is not like your own being. The forms of your being and the levels of your being are all forms and levels accurate to you, perfect and complete. The forms of yourself are not accurate to you and they're not complete. The forms of yourself are forms of change. They're meant to change. When you're being the same as your own being, in the midst of yourself, you expose all of the lack in yourself. You expose everything that isn't open and soft in yourself. You expose all of the holding and all of the closing, all of the hardness. To be that openness and softness unconditionally in the midst of your experience, then you are being your own being in the midst of a self of yours that isn't like that yet. Being that in the midst of yourself is what transforms yourself. Sometimes I have, a, like when, when I run into uh, um, parts of myself that are, that are revealed um, in, in that kind of um, circumstance, that it can have a very uh, discouraging uh, impact on me. They can um, kind of make me want to turn away because they're, they're unpleasant and I have a judgment about them. Wonderful. You're getting to know yourself. That's what yourself is like before transformation. The whole nature of the self is it relates to likes and dislikes, comfort and discomfort. Your being can't comprehend that. It simply doesn't relate that way. Your being is open and soft in the worst of conditions. When you are being just like your being, in the midst of what aggravates yourself, that aggravation brings right into your experience what is not yet like your own being. When openness and softness of heart, being like your own being matters more to you than yourself and than how you experience yourself, then you will unconditionally be open and soft like your being in the midst of discomfort, in the midst of pleasure and pain without a preference. In this way, you integrate yourself. You integrate yourself by being your own being in your own experience in every way that is contrary to yourself. contrariness opens and softens when you awareness are opening and softening in the midst of it so there can, there can be a sense that you're getting worse instead of better yes when you unconditionally open to your own being and you begin to have some access to its beautiful depths. Upon returning to yourself, you'll be in for somewhat of a shock because the forms that you resume, 
that you were used to are so much not like what you were just in of your own being. And experiencing those forms being so much more closed and harder. The difficulty of experience and being that open in the midst of it can be really painful. And, and can make you want to turn away. It, it can make you not want to open as much again. The more you genuinely open in your heart and deeper, the more vulnerable you make yourself. You expose yourself for what it is. You begin to see yourself from a place of seeing that isn't in yourself. It's from your own being. But that's a place where you'd have no issue with what you see. When you're coming from what your own being is like. You love seeing despite what you see. 